What's good, YouTube? Come to you again with another video. Today is Vlogmas Day 2. <laughs> might be 2, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, because I don't know if we... We might decorate one tree today. I don't know, I don't know. But I wanted to do a wife talk video. So, yeah, I don't found me a new little section to film in or whatever. Let me hurry up because Carson is right there and... He, he get a little antsy when he don't see me for a while. So, yeah. So, today we're talking about staying interested in your spouse. Like, um, y'all know I like doing these videos because you got to keep it real at all times. So, yeah. Like, I feel like this is a, this is like an un, unspoken thing you talk about too. Like, my confident video. Like, this is an unspoken thing you talk about too. Like, staying interested in a person that you've been with for so many years and... Basically, keeping keeping stuff like, you know, spicy or whatever. So, basically, what I have to say about that is, um, basically, stay, <clears throat> stay doing what you used to do when you was fresh. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's your stuff. Um, so, stay doing what you, so, stay doing, stay doing what you was doing. When stuff is fresh, like in the beginning, being that me and Jamal been together for eight years, like we're learning that you have to learn to keep stuff going, like especially after you have kids, because being that both of my kids are in the room with me, we just moved Grace to bed in there so we can, um, what's it called, like transitioning yeah. him to his room because he's about to be two. And like basically we're in transition mode or whatever. Cause that when he turns two, we're potty training. So we're like transitioning him now to his bed so he can learn how to stay in his bed. Um, we're still trying to get him to sleep through the night and stop waking up for his cup. Like just stuff like that. Um, that, you know, can take a lot of interest. Not like necessarily an uh, interest, but your kids being in a room with you obviously stops you from doing a lot of things or noticing a lot of stuff. Like, um, for me, like, you know, like, I always been the type of person that, like, hate clothes. Let's say that. I hate clothes or whatever. So, like, I will walk around, you know, maybe, like, a lot, uh, like, unclothed or whatever. Or, like, little to none clothes. So, in the beginning, you know, like, when we first met, that was just, like, unspoken. Like, I couldn't walk around like that because... You know, it, you know, like things happen. So, so now, you know, you probably, he probably don't notice, you know, like you, you don't notice the interest you have in your spouse because it's kids in the room or like, you know, like it's people around or stuff like that. And you just have to be prone to stuff like that. You got to get used to contacting your mate or contacting, um, the person that you with, um, you know, while while you at while they at work or while while where while you wherever you at and just like kind of you know flirt like even if you see a ball so it is a ball baby so you know like just flirt you know with your spouse or whatever um keep the interest going like do spontaneous stuff um that you used to do in the beginning like little stuff like i know for jamal he used to do stuff in the beginning like um set up picnics or like in the house type so he'll set up picnics he'll run bath water for both of us um he'll bring home flowers um bring home like under underclothes and stuff like that like just doing stuff i didn't expect and that keep you interested in a person not saying that i have to be all material because like the pigments pigments on the inside obviously that wasn't expensive or you know stuff like that it wasn't nothing expensive but it was just thoughtful and it was like something you know that we can it was something that we can um you know like relate re relates on in, in an intimate way so just make sure you are focused on being intimate at all times with the person that you're with and make sure you're being 
showing them that you're interested in them or um vice versa you know what i'm saying so yeah especially um you know like after like the woman after pregnancy and stuff like that because we go through a lot and that's why i talked about confidence because we go through a lot of stuff at the labor like for me gaining 60 pounds within two years having kids that's a lot especially when i was at my peak weight i was in like I didn't even realize that I was wearing a size medium before I started having kids because I was so in tune with my healthy journey. I didn't even realize that I had done got that small or that that's what was going on. So now that I'm back to um, working on being in tune with being healthy and stuff like that, and it's very hard. It's very hard to get my mind to back to that mindset, but... I'm definitely working on it because obviously I want to see myself in a different light. And, um, like, I just want to be more confident for myself. And I want to, you know, be able to say I did it again. And, you know, not make, not make that excuse that most moms make. Oh, I had this amount of kids and, you know, it's baby weight and all that stuff like that. Granted, I just had a baby two months ago so yeah right now i can say oh yeah it's baby weight um right now i can say yeah yeah it's baby weight but i can't say that two years from now at carson two and grayson four i can't say it's baby weight no more because please stop i can't say it's baby weight no more i literally have to say okay i'm just being i'm just neglecting myself at this point or whatever so i'm working on that I already like been manifesting it because like literally I I picked out food tonight and I'm like okay we're gonna put this food together and for me I'm doing no more carbs or whatever but you know I still have to carb them especially Grayson um so tonight we're doing potatoes broccoli and chicken well I'm doing broccoli and chicken um just pounding up on my vegetables or whatever and I might even I might go get me a salad um to go up my chicken i don't even know but you know like just for me i know that veggies and meat work for me so yeah and i know my son eat carbs so yeah well so we're working on that so stay focused on yourself stay focused when you're trying to make your spouse stay interested in your spouse make sure you focus on you first and then the problem if that makes sense. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified for more videos. This is Vlogmas Day 2. And I haven't made up my mind if we're going to do a Vlogmas intro. Because I don't feel like doing it. So, I don't know yet. And I don't know. And I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm.